most accurate weather forecast in South Texas with Chief Meteorologist Dale Nelson. Hi everybody, uh, welcome back. Here is your Aztec Chevrolet forecast. More light rain for the area today. Lighter today than yesterday with six hundredths officially after a quarter of an inch fell on the new year and 1100s out at Alice. Everybody participating and pretty soggy outside even though rainfall totals were not overly impressive. We are above normal though for the year right now with uh, most of the rain off in the Gulf, a couple sprinkles back to the south and the west. But uh, overall, the rain has ended here, and we're beginning to see clearing skies off to the north and west, as you can see on our satellite and radar right out here to the west. And with that, the lion's share of the rain has moved up the coast with this area of low pressure. There is a front behind this that has been advertised that will be pushing through. And we will slowly clear out here overnight and get a little bit on the chilly side. Some pretty good winds behind this front here tomorrow. And then the winds settle down and high pressure will build in and the weather will be terrific. It's all hinging around this upper level low. And again, that surface low that's over here causing all this rain in the deep south is uh, come, uh, become discoupled from the upper level low. That's why we didn't see as much rain as the last rain event. But as this kicks out, this dry air is going to swing in from the west, and we're going to see some gorgeous sunshine here tomorrow and also over the weekend before another front races into the region. So here's the upper level low kicking out to the north and east. Again, not plowing through the region. If it was over and coming through us, then we would see a lot more rain than we actually had. With that kicking out, we get this dry northwesterly flow, gorgeous weather for the weekend, and warm air too. Then there's another buckle in the jet stream. It's not a big buckle, but it's there on the Monday, and that sends another front through the region, but it'll be dry. And with this ridge of high pressure out to the west of us, I expect us to stay dry for at least seven to maybe as much as 10 days uh, looking forward starting tomorrow. Cloud and rain forecast, there really isn't any. Seven in the morning, mainly clear. A couple high clouds tomorrow and Saturday looks terrific as does Sunday as far as sunshine. In the short run, it's 62 degrees right now. Very light winds here this evening will drop slowly into the upper 50s by midnight. Notice after midnight our winds shift from the southwest to the west and will slowly increase. So not bad in the morning, but the winds pick up after daybreak and uh, we will see a fairly windy conditions throughout the day tomorrow from the northwest. 53 will be the low temperature tonight where it clears out uh, first. George West will be the coldest at 47, ranging up to 57 on Mustang Island. Day planner for tomorrow, 54, dry and chilly in the morning, 68, windy and dry at noon. Again, windy and then breezy and sunny and oh, so nice, 68 at 5 p.m. tomorrow with a high of 70 degrees. Temperatures reaching 76 in Fal Furious, and we're talking about 64 over in Port Aransas. So here is a look at your NEC Co-op Energy 7-day forecast. 53 tonight, 70 tomorrow. The front comes in uh, shortly before daybreak. It'll be windy behind the front with clearing skies. 42 and 72 Saturday, 44 and 77 Sunday. Then on Monday, we're going to see this next front come through, but no rain with that. That's unfortunate. Sorry about that, farmers and ranchers. But uh, 52 to 67, low and high there on Tuesday. By the time everything settles out, we hit 39. It'll be cold here on Wednesday morning, but nothing we haven't seen before as we've had two freezes there right before Christmas where we dropped down to 31 degrees. Mm -hmm. But again, that's uh, fairly typical for South Texas mm -hmm. this yeah, time of the sure, year. Yeah.